All right, y'all. Bye, Talk. OMG, OMG. I was going to talk about something completely different. But I'm going to talk about this. Sorry, guys. I just got done eating. Big ups to Marlena from Makeup Geek. Big ups to Marlena from Makeup Geek. She just came out with a video about the YouTube beauty community. Spilling it. She wasn't messy. And I loved it. It was very respectful. By the way, this is Tina Marie with Tina's World. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, y'all. This is actually my secondary channel. My first channel is Tina TMR2886. It's my beauty lifestyle channel. If you want to check me out there, definitely check me out there, too. Those videos are more like hauls and stuff like that. This is where we talk. This channel is about where we talk. Where, where we talk. Me and you, we talk. Um, especially about the beauty community. And man, thank you, Marlena. Thank you. 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 <laughs> Got a little surprise for you. <laughs> but uh, thank you, Marlena. Like, she let it be known that the, you, the beauty community... It ain't what it used to be. Mm -mm. Sorry, I just got done eating. Hold on, y'all. Mm. She letting it be known the beauty community ain't what it used to be. All right. She, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, is a lot of stuff going around how these beauty influencers are getting out of hand. They're thinking they're celebrities now. I guess they Beyonce in them now because they got some followers. I don't know. They they brand new. But um anyway, so she was basically saying that, you know, Makeup Geek, she admitted Makeup Geek for the past year has declined in sales. And that is right. I have not heard Makeup Geek like that. Nobody's really talking about Makeup Geek anymore. And she went on. She didn't want to she didn't say nothing because she ain't trying to bash people, so I'm glad she didn't mention names. But Marlena was talking about how, you know, she was reaching out to these influencers and they were requesting $60,000 to be mentioned in their video, like, and do a video about their company, $60,000. And the thing is, she just had a launch in Target, and she was saying that, you know, some of the companies are coming to her like, how are you getting these bigger influencers, you know, to work with you without having to pay these outrageous amounts of money? Because we've even paid these influencers the amount of money they were looking for, and we didn't get the ROI, the return on investment. And I don't know who these influencers think they are, but $60,000? And then these companies ain't even getting an ROI? These companies, to me, need to wise up. And Makeup Geek was like, I can't afford to give somebody $60,000 for a video. And I think it's quite sad because she came up when these girls was coming up and guys were coming up in the industry. And like, if somebody, my friend, I'm a ride or die for you. She's like, man, some of these, some of these people, I helped set up their lights. They was asking me for advice on how to do lighting and how to, you know, how can we grow together? And then you now coming at me saying, I'm going to bash Makeup Geek if you don't want to pay me 60K. Like, I got to put my Nicki Minaj on right now. Like, are you dumb? That's my Remy Ma. <laughs> my Nicki Minaj face with my Remy Ma attitude. Are you dumb? Like, are y'all, I mean, seriously, Marlena came up with y'all in the industry. She came up. And then y'all over here, if you don't give me $60,000, when somebody your homie and somebody helped you come up and they got a line coming out, Ain't you supposed to support? Maybe it's just me. I'm going to support my homie. Man, Beauty by... I'm going to shout this out right now. Beauty by Benji got a palette coming out next month. Guess who's going to her thing in um Houston? Me. Guess who's buying a palette? Me. Guess who's talking about Beauty by Benji's palette? Me. All up on my platforms. Why? Because Beauty by Benji is a friend. That's what friends do. So to tell me, and we little influencers and we supporting each other. You tell me these million upon million subscriber channels. This is pissing me off. Can't support another person that helped them? Help with the come up though? Like that pisses me off. Like 
I normally am a very calm and nice person. But when you're going to tell me you're going to slap me in my face after you had a bigger come up than me? and But, but you was asking me for advice. You was coming to, like, Marlena is so nice because you was coming to, you couldn't even do your lights though. But you was coming at me for help. But then you don't want to support my brand. Because I don't want to pay you like you Beyonce. Are you dumb? Like, you know, like, and that really pissed me off. She really shined a light on these bigger YouTubers. Like, it messy. Like, you ain't doing this for the love of this. If you ain't doing this for the love of this, she basically said, if you ain't doing this for the love of this, why you doing it? Come on, sis. Now I had to get on my Nikki for real. Come on, sis. Like, this really makes me mad. And this is why I do not like beauty videos. This is why I am trying to get out of doing beauty. I don't, well, I don't even do beauty videos no more. Because of this. It is so messy. The beauty community is messy. It ain't nothing genuine about it. If you don't look a certain way, you can't grow. If your hair don't look a certain way, you can't grow. If you don't have the same accent as somebody else, you can't grow. If you, if you don't use the same brushes as so-and-so, you can't grow. And now, if you ain't doing, uh, trying to get people to give all their money, you can't even advertise with these suckers. Y'all thought I was going to cuss. I ain't cussing. My kids is up. But I want to cry because the beauty community, this is why I don't want to mess with it. Like, seriously, y'all messy. These bigger YouTubers are so messy. It is a handful of them that are down to earth. And it's sad because what happened to the days where you could just sit on your bed like I'm doing right now and show your products? Or sit on your floor. But now all these bigger influencers want to do is sit on their floor and wear a hoodie when they want to sit up there and try to make a fake apology. I'm getting upset. I don't usually get upset. This beauty community is out of hand. I don't care what nobody says. Beauty community is out of hand. And someone needs to bring these people back to reality. Because reality is... You ain't Jay-Z. You ain't Beyonce. Shit, you ain't even around here crying like Nicki Minaj. Hello. Hello. Over here is 60000 for a video. Are you dumb? Like, in these companies that's paying it, are y'all dumb? Because I'm telling you, even though people are watching those videos, the majority of people are watching those videos are children. They're the ages between 11 and 18. And guess what? Mommy's not going to go throw in her purse every time her kid wants a, something that so-and-so is showing. These people really need to look at these people's stats and see how many people are purchasing that are in the age range that are able to purchase items. Hello, companies. Wake up. And I believe what Marlena said. A lot of this is the company's fault because they letting these girls and guys go on these expensive trips, act fools, show they butt, do they drugs in front of everybody, and then sit up there and say, push our product, push our product. I want to say big up right now. Emily Noel 83 just got her once palette. How you doing? It's on my eyes right now. My makeup's coming off because guess what? It's the end of the darn day. But big ups to Emily Noel. She ain't never took a penny. And she about to hit 1 million subscribers. What? Ain't never take a penny. Her husband a lawyer. She like, I don't need that check. Honey, my husband make money. All right, so big up to Emily Noel. I love Emily Noel. She used to be a broadcaster. I went to school for broadcaster. I love Emily Noel 83 because she keeps it real and ain't never took a penny for a review. And she tells these companies like it is. If she thinks something needs to be fixed, she say it. She don't hold her tongue for nothing. How many of your favorite influencers can say that? I'm hot. Like... I usually don't go off. Like, y'all know I'm really calm. I'm nice. I'm, Hi, guys. I'm, I'm energetic. But this is really making me mad. Because when I think of beauty, I think about the vulnerable 16-year-old. 
I think about the vulnerable 16 year old going out and kissing these influencers but believing in what they telling them when all they doing is selling them a lie all they doing is selling them a lie you don't do that to people everybody ain't got money some people they take their last they last extra they got I ain't doing no crying. Fuck that. I'm not crying. And I'm sorry I cussed. God forgive me. But some people, they take their last. They last pennies to go buy something somebody told them to buy because they believe in this influencer. And all they selling you is a lie. Like, because everybody ain't smart to know, you know, don't buy it. This person's not trustworthy. No, so-and-so said it. So-and-so said it. It's for real. It's real, it's real, it's real deal. They said it, they said it's real, it gotta be. They ain't real. And that really, oh man, I'm, I'm so mad right now. Like, I wanna cry, but I'm so mad that I'm not going to. Cause I'm that mad. But my eyes, as you can see, they're starting to tear up a little bit. But I ain't gonna cry because this ain't no Laura Lee. I'm <laughs> just playing, Laura Lee ain't even fun. That one tear came out, Laura Lee eyes, she was... Girl, bye. Another lie. Go check out Rich Lux. Check out Rich Lux. Girl, lie. Girl, bye. Another lie. But, yo, I'm very emotional about this. Like, thank you, Marlena. Thank you. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, milk. I'll get you some milk. I'm in this. My son needs some milk. <laughs> say he needs some milk. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in this. But I'm going to say this. I'm going to uh, Hold on. I'm going to end this like this. Thank you, Marlena. Thank you for letting us know the tea. We've been saying it as smaller influencers, and we're looked at as haters because we don't have these big followings. But, I mean, it's written all over. These people getting paid all this money to act a fool on the Internet. Makeup ain't that serious. And as consumers, we have to start getting smarter. And as influencers, think of that 15-year-old and a 16-year-old using their babysitting funds to go buy your products and come out with quality products. Because guess what? That's the people that's going to be like, man, I don't trust beauty influencers. And guess what? 10 years, people ain't going to give a dang about beauty channels. Because they're going to say they ain't nothing but liars. They ain't nothing but scam artists. This your craft. This is what you love. Make it honest or don't do it at all. And I'm going to get off here. I'm going to get off here. Got to get my son some milk. Soy milk, that is. But big us to Marlena, man. Big us to Beauty by Benji. Got her palette coming out on the 16th of September. I'll be at the event on the 15th in Houston if y'all going. I'll be there. I'll be there. And big ups to Emily Noel 83. Never taking a penny because her husband a lawyer. She don't need your money. I'm just playing, but I am pissed off. Go, Marlena, though. Thank you for spreading truth. I'm going to get off here. I got to get soy milk. All right, have a blessed day, everybody, okay? Back to being nice. Have a blessed day, okay? Bye.